Yes, ma'am. Hi, um, Candace Milligan, 30 on Nanton Road. Um, I'm just wondering if anyone's assessed the liability of the city. Should someone be either walking through the courtyard, going up to that drop box at night, and something happens, God forbid, a rape or something like that, um, the city has approximately caused that situation? And or behind the library, the two temporary boxes that were moved from West Street back then. I think those are both huge liabilities on the city, and should unfortunately something happen, it, it's going to be much more than $13,000 for the city to pay that person. In addition, um, I believe it was Mrs. Rotello who addressed the concern of, it's called risk of injury when you leave your child in the car and walk away from it. That's a felony. <coughs> Any mother who needs to get out of the car, or father, get out of the car, walk up to the library, and deposit their books or TV, uh, DVDs, they're going to be on the hook for that felony. And that's a serious concern. Those are just practical uh, concerns. I, I, I'd just like to say something. I was going to try to stay neutral on this, <laughs> but I knew I couldn't. I, uh, the wisest person I know is my wife. And I've been discussing this with my wife for a couple of days. And my wife raised eight children. She took all of them to the, to the story hours, every, every three, four times a week. Sometimes parked on Deer Hill Avenue, sometimes parked on Fawcett Street. There was no parking with, that we know of, like we know now. And she'd be down the library, she'd take them in the library, they'd get their books, they'd go home, they'd bring the library, the books back. Now, I know it's a convenience to have the drops there. But, man, I'll tell you, when in to get them, I, this is what I can't understand is, everybody tells us that we're, like me, I'm, uh, I'm overweight, I need exercise. We're supposed to exercise, but now we're, we're too late. We don't, we went in to get the books, but now we don't want to walk them back into the library. We don't want to get the exercise. We want to be able to drop more. Everything is a convenience today. Now, I easy. appreciate what Mrs. Rotella said because there are some handicapped people. But when I, like, like Colleen said, man, we, we're looking at a budget year this year that you people, you can't even conceive what we're looking at. And this is, a, this is peanuts compared to what we're looking at. And I can just see what we're going to be going through, the committees that we're going to be looking at in the next three or four months. If, if you people think that this is a disaster, we're all in for a big awakening. There's an answer for everything. You, it, it, you said that you can't get out of your car because it's a felony, okay? If you can't go and you're afraid that maybe if you go at night, you can be raped. You can go in the daytime. There's there plenty are of working times. mothers. I myself leave town at 7.30 in the morning and I return hopefully by 7 o'clock at you night. Get, when do you get the books? On a Saturday. Okay. On a Usually Saturday I try afternoon. and go on a Saturday. But if things are due on Tuesday, I mean, this is just a practical concern. I do like Paul said he does. They leave them in the car, and hopefully when I drive by West Street, I'm like, oh, got the books. Let me throw them in the book drop so they're not late. I mean, this is a serious concern. So. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. I should check, but if I could just address the issue of risk. Um, you know, uh, that was brought up, and, and again, um, there's risk in everything you do in life. There's, you know, I could have, God forbid, Kirky walking across West Street getting hit by a car. That's a risk. And there's probably more likelihood of somebody getting hurt crossing the street with a, a bundle of books. Uh, I'm talking about a huge car, not a couple of books in their hand, than there would be somebody getting hurt dropping off a book at Library Plaza. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm not, you can't ever say never, um, but, you know, <laughs> There's no way to assess that, and, and, sure and the city is at no greater, no lesser liability because of that. Uh, you know, it, it, it's simply, uh, um, you know, I'm not dismissing the concern, but I'm saying that, you know, overall, um, I don't necessarily think that's, you know, the major issue here. You have, I think, a greater risk of somebody pulling up, trying to put the book in, somebody or ending them, and things that never happened because it's been there since 1999, 1998, but it could have the potential to happen when you when you really think about it. Um, I've seen people park their, leave the car in the middle of the queue, not get in the parking spot in, for the life, open the door, leave their car door open, run over, throw their book in, and then hope they catch the light to get back in the car to get going on the Are green light. Are we responsible light. for that too? No, no, Potentially, no, no, no. they could say we located the Charlie's a risk assessment. No, no, I've no, seen no, people do it. I, mean, no I, I, I will tell you, I just went to the, the tree lighting ceremony over at Library Plaza. In my walk from there to here, I was asked by two people for money who called me Hey Sugar Mama and Hey Little Mama. I have to say, as a 31-year-old female, it does not feel safe 
to walk the streets of Danbury at night, especially when we have now put a police officer in the library. No, it's not a different issue because we're walking across Library Plaza to put books in the book shop, or we're going behind on Bank Street to put books into the book shop where nobody travels. So now we have an officer in the library several days a week. Clearly, there's a public safety concern because no, no, there's no, so no, many no, people no, in no, the library. No, Mr. Chairman, that has nothing to do with the, the reason the office is there is because we had a union issue. It has nothing Wait, to do with the union issue, I, I believe, has to do with how many people frequent the building. No, it has nothing to do with that at all. It's because uh, the union was concerned that a private security guard was taking away collective bargaining work. It had nothing to do with Oh, it. so, okay, I'm sorry. So it say we have, have, have a security guard. Either way, a, 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 a city police officer or a private security guard. Either way, we know that, that there are people downtown that maybe I don't want to necessarily be walking with at 9 o'clock at night or tonight at 5.30 at night. That's the same as city in the... Hold on, Mr. Gentleman over here, I just had up, sir. You want to speak? Yeah, my name is Tom Brown, I live